What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse from the Black Lightning TV series Black Lightning. Here we do have Black Lightning in the packaging. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get them opened up, and then we'll have a better look at the figure inside. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Black Lightning posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Black Lightning here does come with the left leg of the Ninja Batman Builder figure, which we'll have a better look at when he's all put together. As far as Black Lightning here goes, he does come with three pairs of hands. He comes with a pair of fists. He comes with a pair of trigger finger hands. And he comes with a pair of lightning effect hands, which they all look pretty good. I'm wondering why they gave him trigger fingers if he doesn't use any guns. Your guess is as good as mine. But with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a better look at Black Lightning. And Mattel did a really good job with this figure. Now, he is part of the CW-verse figures, which, if you know me, I've had a love-hate relationship with the CW Mattel figures. There's some that I like, and more than likely, I hate the rest. Black Lightning here falls in between those two categories. I don't love the figure, but there's a lot of things here to like about him. For example, the head sculpt is done really well. Now, it doesn't use the photoreal technology that Hasbro is using, but it does look good, and I think they did a really good job going with the mask face sculpt because they could hide any imperfections with the eyes, and it does look good, especially from a distance. And they did use some kind of photoreal tempography right here on the sides of his mask. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the little dot matrix in there. So that's pretty good. If they can do that with his mask, I wonder why they couldn't do that with his face. You can see his beard is, for the most part, nicely painted and it connects to his hair really nicely. So good job there. I really do like the sculpt work on Black Lightning. Now, originally when I saw this figure, I kind of felt that he was a little chunky. However, going back and looking at stills from the show, his torso is actually kind of blocky, which Mattel actually got it right here. So we do have somewhat of a blocky torso, but you can see they did do all the detailing right here. Now, it's not just paint. It's some kind of tempography that they did right here. You can see a little bit of the dot matrix in there just to give it some detail. And you can see it right here, especially up at the top. It's really noticeable. Especially right here on the shoulders. You can kind of see the little dot matrix for the white, especially on this side. Other than that, he has this really nice blue wash going throughout his costume. I kind of wish they incorporated a little bit more on the figure, but... It still looks nice for what it is. You can see some of that blue wash just brings out some of those details, especially right here in the bicep, right here in the shoulders. We don't have too much of it in the front, although I would have liked to see some right here because it's obvious that, does, that that does carry over. We have some blue right here, some more tempography right here, which you can see a lot of nice details in the tempography, something they couldn't do with actual paint. Moving on to his legs, you can see they did a really good job with the wash here, especially going on the back of the figure. Now, I think the one thing I don't like about this figure are the hips. If we just move his arms off to the side, you can see that his hips don't sit flush with his torso. Now, like I said, he does have a blocky torso in the TV show, and that's just the way the suit is designed. But the hips, the hips are completely wrong. The hips are really... They look like balls right here, and they're not the traditional Hasbro ball hips, which I'm glad that they didn't use, but they could have brought his pelvis down just a little bit just to close up that gap because it looks really, really strange seeing as how it has this really deep cut then goes into a blocky shape. If they had just covered that or made his hips a little more square, it would have really made that look better. But as it stands, that's probably my one and only gripe with the sculpt on this figure. Because other than that, the sculpt work is really nice on him. You can see he has his knee pads sculpted. The shin guards do come up to just below the knee. We do have some nice 
paint work right here on his legs. We have some more of that blue wash on the back of his knees. Kind of wish it did continue downward. We get to his feet where I feel like maybe his feet are a little bit too small. And yes, it does hinder him standing because of how small his feet are. They did a good job with the shoes though. The sculpt work on it looks really nice and the paint on it is good. So overall, ha or Mattel did a pretty decent job with this figure. It's not the best that they've done, but it's still a really good looking figure. So with his details out of the way guys, let's actually get him compared to a few other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Black Lightning posed next to a DC Multiverse Superman and a Marvel Legends Cyclops. And finally here we have Black Lightning posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. So with his comparisons out of the way, let's actually run through his articulation. Black Lightning here does sport the standard multiverse articulation. He has somewhat of a ball joint in the head. You can see it does go up and down. But it looks down and looks straight. He doesn't really have any upward neck movement. Uh, we don't have any head tilt. It's just mainly up. Or it looks down and then looks straight. And then we do get head rotation on that joint. Arms are on ball hinges, but they only go out to about that far, which is a little bit disappointing. They do a full 360. No problem there. He does have a bicep swivel, which works really well. He has a single bend in the elbow, giving us 90 degrees. And then we also do have rotation at the elbow. We have a swivel and a hinge at the wrist, and it works no problem. He does have an ab crunch, which goes back only about that far. Comes forward about that far. He does have a waist swivel which works pretty good. Legs do kick forward only to about there. If you try kicking them out up higher, they do start going outward. They go back about that far. Legs do go all the way out to the side again. If they had squared that off, I would be more than happy with his legs just going up to there. But full on split is pretty decent. Swivel really high on the thigh. I wish they could have found a way to hide that a little better. We do have a double bend in the knee, and he does go back quite a ways. No shin swivel, but we do get a hinge in the ankle, which goes forward about there. Goes back about there. And one thing I don't like is the way they did his ankle hinge. Um, if you look, the entire shoe is pivoting. They could have easily just sculpted the bottom of the shoe on or the top of the shoe on his ankle and still have all that range because that does look a little bit strange it looks like he broke his ankle especially with the rocker ankle so good ankle movement but questionable in its design so with his articulation out of the way guys let's actually move on to my final thoughts and finally here we have black lightning pose for my final thoughts Overall, this figure came out better than I expected. There are some issues with his proportions, especially at the hips. If they had found a way, way to square out his hips just so they match the rest of his body, this would be a much better figure. But overall, I'm really happy with the way he came out. This wasn't a figure I was actually looking forward to, but Mattel did a pretty decent job on him. And as far as the wave goes, he's up there with Nightwing on. Probably my favorite out of the wave Probably just underneath Nightwing and a little higher than Wally West. He's still a really impressive figure. Even though I'm not really a fan of the Black Lightning TV series, seeing as how I am starting to fall out away from the CW-verse, he's still a pretty good figure that I'm probably going to have in my multiverse movie display. If you can find Black Lightning in stores and you're a fan of those series, or just want to complete your Ninja Batman, he is essentially part of the wave so you do need all six figures for Ninja Batman but I still recommend you pick this figure up especially if you want to throw him in with your movie shelf because he fits right in. With that being said guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC multiverse videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.